Okay, so we have had a delivery. If you watched our last video about uh, moving the old Valiant on, you'll know that uh, we had the last week off and Cam were told, you've got too many holidays, you need to take some holidays. Well, the problem with that is we've got shit to do. But we did take our holiday, we had a week off, and of course, a whole bunch of, bunch of stuff showed up in the meantime. Specifically, this is what we've been waiting on. Ugh. We overnighted parts from Sweden. Okay, so we didn't actually overnight parts from Sweden, but we did order parts from Sweden for the Trollbo. It took about two weeks to get here. It was quite a journey. It went from Sweden to Germany, then across the world to Sydney, then down here to Melbourne. And of course, no one here was to accept the delivery because we we're on holidays. But anyway, the guys at Max Performance looked after us, picked it up for us, and yeah, we have some diff upgrades for our uh, Trollbo from the guys at GZ Racing in Sweden. All right, so we've been talking to those guys quite a bit about Volvos and Barras. They've done a Barra swap on a Volvo, a Volvo 740. They've got a Barra in it. Makes like a thousand horsepower at the rear. Like it is crazy, you know? Um, and it's crazy to think there are Barras in Sweden going into Volvos. Who would have thought? And they do some top notch, you know, like work. They're, he's doing these crazy trumpets at the moment. Oh, they look amazing. But anyway, let's have a look inside. Okay. What do we got? I'm figuring these are axles. Oh, look at them. Oh, 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 these are some meaty girls. Woo, look at that. Multi-drilled. There we go, 30 splines of Volvo goodness. All right, so the standard axles are 27 spline. These are 30, so, you know, all right, they're not quite 31, which is kind of the performance standard of your nine inch, but 30, pretty damn good. And they use these a lot in uh, Jeeps and stuff when they do you know, rock climbing and they do upgrades to them and that sort of thing. So yeah, man, they're a good looking axle too, you know, so yeah. Look how long the splines are, that's crazy. Certainly not going to snap anywhere along here, you know, and it's got a long way to twist before it gets to there, so. Don't think there's anything quite else in there. No, nope, that one's empty. Let's have a look in this one. So it's not just the axles we're replacing either. Okay. So we're doing a limited slip rear end. So instead of our Dozzy, dodgy Aussie locker. Look, the Aussie locker has been great and it's worked really well for us, but it is oh, so loud and so painful to turn corners with. You know, you get to the drag strip and you turn a corner in the pits and everyone's like, oh, you've broken your diff, dude, your diff stuffed. And you're like, no, dude, it's just the way it sounds. But, it has delivered for us in terms of like allowing us to launch the Volvo down the strip, but we need something a bit better. <sighs> so we have all sorts of goodies here. I believe there's um, wheel bearings and all that sort of stuff as well. Yep, there's bearings and stuff. Oh, that's, isn't that nice? Little GZ Racing bottle opener. That's very cool, little billet thing. Looks like a Conrod. That's awesome. Thanks guys, that's cool. Awesome. All right, but bolts. Ugh. Now, what's in this one? Ah, LSD case. Yep. So, it's a Torsen Center, I believe it's called. Torsen, Torsen, something like that. But anyway, 
made for our 31 spline axles and um, certainly a lot better and a lot more expensive than our Aussie locker. So that'll be awesome. That'll be perfect for getting our Volvo off the line and doing it without breaking stuff. So I'll stick that back in there for the moment. And then uh, the boys were telling me that I was going to need different brake rotors and stuff like that. So I said, well, you guys sort it out, package them up, do whatever you need to do, send us the bill. And that's what they've done. So they've sorted it out, drilled them appropriately, and they will go on our axles, all set up. Oh, got a t-shirt there. Not sure it's gonna fit me, feels a bit on the thin side. Yeah, that one's for you, mate. <laughs> Actually, that might be for Alex. I don't even think that's gonna fit you. It's a large. That one might go to my son, Alex. Hey? Genuine Swedish t-shirt for the young lad. Cool, thanks guys. And stickers and more stickers in different colors. That's cool. All right, oh, another bottle. Bottle opener for you. There you go. Silver and gold. First and second. Anyway. All right. So we have diff upgrades for days. That's going to take us a little bit to get all sorted and in the car. And uh, yeah, should be lots of fun. All righty. So I have to box all that up again now. <laughs> But we have some other goodies here too. Come and have a look at this. So all that stuff's still waiting here for the uh, Trollbo. Johnny will have that finished shortly. We'll get that head back on. But I've been down to Heron Forbes and buying, yeah, some measuring gear. So we can build the V6 bottom end. In fact, I'm supposed to be going over I'm buying some beer bearings for that this afternoon. Hopefully I don't run out of time. But we've got a dial bore gauge. All right, so stick that in the bore of the, whatever you're measuring. This one goes from, I think it's 50 mil to 160 mil. So it'll do pretty much any bore size that we want, regardless of whether it's a bore or a bearing surface or whatever. You know, you stick it in there and push the thing, whoops. Uh, I have to have let loosen that off. That would be why. Push the thing and it measures the bore size. So we can take it over here. Obviously I'm obviously I'm not doing this right. I'm just doing this fast at the moment. But we'll stick it in there. That's not bolted up. Stick it in there and you can measure the bore size, the internal diameter of that area there, which is not bolted together at the moment. But you basically stick it in there, give it a bit of a rock back and forth and you can work out what the size is in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a test later in the week, because I still gotta get some ARP uh, goo and I have to get the rod bolt stretch gauge thingy which still hasn't shown up but I'm going to do a test of basically tightening these up and seeing what the difference is to that internal diameter. If it stays the same then you're right to go with just putting the rod bolts in and torquing them up. If it significantly changes the diameter of that area then you know you've got to go down to your uh, machine shop and resize them. Now everyone's saying oh New rod bolts, definitely going to resize. Well, you're right. Like I said, we've had this conversation. You know, if the rod bolt bolts through the whole thing, then definitely, 100%, because it distorts the actual cap itself when you actually press the bolt into place. But these are a little bit different. Cap screw just screws directly into the rod itself. It's a different setup. So, yeah, there's no nuts. It just screws directly into the rod. 
Anyway, that will be a job for later in the week or maybe even early next week, depending how this week pans out. Like I said, I've got a lot on, including um, possibly some Hot Wheels live stream stuff to do, <laughs> which uh, should be pretty cool. If you haven't got your uh, entry in for Hot Wheels, you should do it. If you think your car is good enough to be a Hot Wheels car, definitely get involved, definitely get an entry in and see if your car can be made into a Hot Wheels for real. That'd be fantastic. I'd love to see Turbo Taxi as a Hot Wheels or, you know, the MX-5 as a Hot Wheels. It will look amazing as a Hot Wheels car, you know. Trolbo, it would be cool, but eh, maybe a little bit on the plain side for Hot Wheels, but uh, let's face it, it's a cool car. It just doesn't, it's a sleeper. It's supposed to be a sleeper. Turbo Taxi though, it's kind of sleeper, but not sleeper, you know, because people look at it and go, that's a taxi. And then they look at it and go, that's not actually a taxi because the striping's different and the 1-3 boost and all that sort of stuff. It is instantly identifiable as Turbo Taxi. Anyway, so we've got some goodies there. We've got some stuff to do. And you're gonna see it all on future episodes of Carnage. <laughs>